Welcome to the Chris Town Podcast. I'm Jonas. And I'm TNT Dynamite, the explosive one. And uh, let's crack into another one. Yeah, let's go. Yo. All right, Jonas. Uh, I brought one today. Yes, sir. All right. So the Satanic Temple. Oh. Have you heard of them, Jonas? Yeah, like the Satanists. Yep. They're launching their first uh, TST Health, the first ever religious abortion clinic network. Okay, I can All see right. that. Mm-hmm. All right, so they want to provide uh, the right of choice to people who share their beliefs. Okay. Uh, they have named it Samuel Alito's Mom's Satanic Abortion Clinic. <laughs> San Alito's Mom's Satanic Abortion Clinic. So Samuel Alito is a... Um, oh, Samuel Alito. Yeah, he's a member of the Supreme Court. And he was, uh, he wrote the majority opinion that ended with the overthrowing of Roe versus Wade oh, okay. that just recently happening. So they decided to name the abortion clinic after his mom. Oh, so they just didn't name it. <laughs> they didn't name it her name. It's just, they named it Samuel Alito's mom's abortion clinic. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Uh, kind of, kind of funny, right? Mm-hmm. Kind of funny. Um, <laughs> so the TST, uh, health first reflector. Repug- Reproductive Health Clinic will launch in New Mexico on February of uh, 14th of 2023. Oh, oh Valentine's it's already out. Day 2024. Uh, 2023. Oh, okay. Uh, so it's already launched. The uh, the telehealth clinic will provide virtual um, appointments and guidance for those who wish to participate in the satanic abortion ritual <laughs> in states where abortion has been banned. Oh, Okay. So that's the plan. Long distance. But it notice that they put the term ritual in there. Yeah, because it's a church thing. It's not a process. <laughs> yeah, exactly. It's the abortion ritual. Um, so following the free screening and telehealth appointment, patients will receive a prescription for their abortion medication. The medication, which costs around $90, will be discreetly mailed to them by the TST Health Pharmacy Partner, the TST's Health staff will be standing by 24-7 to answer questions and provide support to the patients throughout the religious abortions clinic ritual or throughout the religious abortion ritual. Okay. Um, Launching Samuel Alito's mom's satanic abortion clinic in New Mexico is just the first step. The satanic temple's religious medical services uh, plans are already underway to launch clinics in several more states, including those where the uh, religious abortion practice is banned. So, over under on this actually working. Apparently, it's already in pr- in practice. I don't know how far they are Success. with it. I think it's gonna work. <laughs> you think it's gonna work? Yeah, a thousand percent. Because it's re- it's religion based. That's but... how that's how they get around everything. Because if it was like a Christian church that did it, they would never shut it down. But we have to look at we have to look at all the points. So yes, it is a religious based thing, but the act itself, which has been changed in definition now, because what we're saying is that it is a life. It's a Even if you're a religious sect, I don't know if it gives you the right to just. Kill. Oh, I don't know, man. It sounds like it'll be a, a long uh, a long battle in court court battle. They just want to tie up the resources of the Christian government. Maybe, maybe. They just like to be a thorn in everybody's side, man. Who's that? The, the government or the, sa- or the Satanic Temple? The Satanic Temple, yeah. I mean, it, they do it in like the most like... It's always like tongue-in-cheek Redditor style, too. Like, name yeah, it a Samuel like Lito's trolls. mom. Yeah, they're it's like... It's very trolly. But it, I do, I appreciate the trolliness of it. Yeah, it. I mean... I think that... Well, it's very interesting because, like, if you look at, like, what the Church of Satan stands for, it has nothing to do with, like, devil worshiping. No. It's about just, like, having rights to do what you want, essentially, as long as you're not hurting other people. Uh, yeah, that's a little, that's a little uh, reductive, but yes, that I is I mean, the, the, ultimately, it's, like— It's about, about doing whatever the fuck you want to do. As long as it's not hurting other people or, like, whatever, right? Essentially. Yeah. But you, have, you can hurt other people, and they don't necessarily look down on it, but, you know. Yeah. You, you get what you get. Like, like karma is kind of like a bullshit for like the the 
energies in the universe. No, man, if you treat people like shit, you're going to get treated like shit back. And if yeah. you do bad I shit. I mean, but the thing, but the caveat yeah. to that is if you treat people good, you're not necessarily going to get treated good back. That is very true. You treat people like ass, you're going to get treated like ass. You treat people good, you might get treated like ass. <laughs> and believe you me, there are people that treat people like shit and that are rich. And get and treated millionaires well. And millionaires and get treated well throughout their entire lives and die happily. Yeah. So. Should you just not care about people that you feel are under you? Is that is that the moral of the story? Like you feel they're under you, just treat them like shit. I don't know if I necessarily feel like anybody is under me. I don't either, but some people do. I mean, ask that's... Trump who's under him. <laughs> ask 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 LeBron who's under him. You think LeBron treats people like shit? You, think LeBron... you, you from Cleveland? You heard the stories? I have heard the stories. I think you know. I just, mean, they, if you know, somebody's if there's a hundred stories about somebody, one of them's true. And they, yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, I mean, you know how many stories tell people tell about ma- whack shit I did? None, because there ain't none. There's always three sides to the story, you know. Their His side, the truth. Their side, the other person's side of truth, yeah. So, you know, you never yeah, know. I don't know, man. I don't, yeah, I don't really feel anyone's above or below me. That's probably my problem. Yeah, I I just really, really hope that the satanic temple gets across with this so that they can get abortion out there to the people who want to get it. I will let it be known 100% that I am pro-choice. I you had mean, to think about which one it was yeah, first. Yeah, I did have to think about it. Uh, I'm 100% pro-choice because... Yeah, I mean, me too. Regardless of if a person believes that it is wrong or not, or a sin or not, I don't believe that necessarily the sins should be against the law. You know? Yeah. Some yeah. most of them. Yeah. Most yeah. of them. I guess you know, like the ones well, that hurt other people should be. Yeah. And but. I mean I I mean, I just my general mindset on a lot of things in life is that like just do what you want. Like That's my thing. It's like if you feel like it's a, against your religion to get an abortion or you feel like it's immoral to get an abortion, then don't do it. But to deny other people the right to do it and do it safely even if you feel it's wrong the right to do it safely we like sex is dangerous having sex with random people is dangerous but yet we still provide contraception so that people can do something dangerous in a safe way well right like here, here's the thing anything that you tell people not to do they're still going to do it's just not going to be safe exactly so like you tell people heroin's illegal they're going to use dirty needles in an alley you you tell people they can do heroin heroin safely they're getting clean needles they're like you know you can look out for them i mean mm-hmm. i'm never going to tell anybody that heroin's good to do but like I'd much rather like have like a safe like I, we did a story a couple weeks ago about like a safe place to go and shoot up heroin. Mm-hmm. I think that's way better than just telling people you can't do heroin because at least you know you're getting a clean needle, you're in a clean place, you're not going to like get infected, you and, know. And what would you say to the people that say, "Look, if we give the heroin addicts the ability to do it safe, then they just live for longer and they create more heroin addicts." So honestly, it's a culling of the herd. What do you say it to spreads, those people? It spreads disease still. It people does. get uh hep c and shit from that yeah and like then it just spreads and more people get it and like whatever other heroin users AIDS right and what other heroin users right yeah yeah what are you trying to say just because you do heroin you should get aids whoa i'm not saying that i asked the question i said what would you say to the people who say that i would say they need to just mind their own goddamn <laughs> business which i would tell most people about everything mind your own goddamn business what's the matter <laughs> Mind your own. I'd say the same thing to the lady who has something to say to the lady at the grocery store. Mind your own goddamn business and get out of her face. Yeah, yeah. I agree with minding your business. <laughs> like, that's my biggest thing. It's like. Like, not minding your business takes so much energy and time and, like. It, yes! It's so much easier to just be like, oh, you know what I'm going to do? Nothing. You know, it's not my, it's not my store. It ain't my problem to deal with. Like, I'm, yeah, I'm just like, I don't. Yeah, I, I I like that, Jonas. the The bow on this episode should be mind your fucking business, mind your own goddamn business. Just, yeah. Everyone's so concerned about what everybody else is doing. Yeah. You know what I'm worried about? What I'm doing. Yeah, how my bank account's looking. I care how about where my house is. Right? Is my car running? I only care about what my dick do in the bedroom. 
Right? I don't care what anybody else is doing in the bedroom. Because when it comes down to it, everybody cares about what their person's womb has to say about it anyway. Yep. You know what I mean? Like, oh yeah, yep. you can't you can't do this, can't do that, but let let the same thing happen to somebody they love and care about. See how see what people yeah, say. Let it let it be your daughter, Mike Johnson. Wow. I'm sorry, Samuel. Wow, Alito. who got a political now? <laughs> we did a we did two political episodes. Mm mm. We did one. We did the Mike because Johnson. you just made this political. The other one had nothing to do with politics. Oh, well, this one is very political. Yeah, this one's extremely political because they named it after the Supreme Court justice. Oh, that was pretty who, funny. Who, who, who spearheaded abortion reform? That that is pretty funny though. Reform. Yeah, but reform. anyways, go to the crazy channel, comment, subscribe for Jonas. Reform. Uh, TNT. Oh yeah.